Welcome to this video tutorial where you will learn more on ASP.NET Core Identity in Blazor application. And in this video, we will see how to install and set up the ASP.NET Core Identity in firstly, a new Blazor application and secondly, in an existing Blazor application. So firstly, what is Identity in ASP.NET Core? The Identity is a membership system which allow us to create, read, update, and delete user accounts. It also supports the user confirmation, authentication, authorization, two-factor authentication, password recovery, and also external login provider like Google, Facebook, or Microsoft. So to start, we will create a new project. Select the Blazor application, next, and then we'll put the name to Blazor App Identity, create. Now, as you can see, we have two ways to create the Blazor application. First, we have the Blazor Server app, and second, we have the Blazor WebAssembly app. And for both, we can add the authentication. So on the top right, as you can see, we have authentication. Let's create the Blazor Server app. Click on Change in the section Authentication. Here, as you can see, we have four options. First, we have no authentication. Then we have individual account where you can select uh, the way you want to store it. And then we have the work or school accounts. And here it will use Active Directory. So here you can select either single organization or multiple organization. So it will be based on Tenet or you can click on read directory data. Then we have window authentication. This is for intranet application within an organization. So for this tutorial, we will select individual user accounts. Here it is. Now click on create. Let's open the app settings.json. Here, as you can see in the connection string, we have the default connection. And then we will have our database connection string. Let's open the startup.cs. Here you will get which connection we are using. So we are using the default connection from the connection string here, as you can see. Now let's open the SQL Server Object Explorer. And here you will get your database. Now let's run the application, guys. Here, as you can see, we have the login page. Now let's click the register. And here we have the register page where you can create your account. So let's create an account. You can customize it the way you want. Register. This is expected, so we have an error because we have not yet migrated for the DB context. Click on Apply Migrations. So this is because the migration for the application DB context has not applied to the database. Here, as you can see, we have register confirmation. Now let's try to log in. But we will have an, an invalid attempt because normally we should get email about the confirmation so what i will do is i will change it in the database for now and put me to active so let's go to the database
PADs. And put the email confirmation to true. Now let's retry. Here it is guys. So now we have login and on the top you can see hello and the email. Now let's add identity in an existing Blazor application. So we have our existing Blazor application, namely Blazor Local Storage. Now we'll add a new scoff folded item. And then we will select identity. And here, as you can see, we can choose file to override. So we have all these files. So we can override them. What it will do, it will add all the identity views and clusters to our project so that we can modify them to meet application specific requirements. So for the data context clause, if your project already has a data context clause, select it from the drop list. Otherwise, click on the plus sign to add it. So we will add it and then click on add. So here we have a new folder areas and it will have our identity folder. Go to the package manager console. We will type add dash migration and put a name. So I will put it add identity. Build succeeded. Then update dash database. Build succeeded. Now let's go to our database. Let's check it. Here, as you can see, we have the Blazor local storage, and there we will have our tables. Let's open the app settings the JSON where we will get our connection string. So, as you can see, it match this database. So, here you can, if you want to change the database, you can change it here. So, here we have the Blazor local storage, which matches that of the SQL Server Object Explorer. Guys, stay tuned for the upcoming Blazor tutorials and check our Blazor playlist for more tutorials. If this video has helped you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.